Hey everybody, welcome back. Brett here. So, uh, kind of a big day here at the shop. Been working on my truck. Just thought I'd give everybody a bit of an update. A couple weeks ago, I bought this CW rear rack for the truck. Here it is here. Comes in two pieces. And uh, one of the sides was all smucked up, this side right here. So, you know, I like a good project. So I'm probably gonna cut the, most of the bottom of that off. It hangs way too low for what I want. It also had that hole there for a gooseneck. Way too much weight, nothing I'm gonna use. So that thing comes in two parts. So we've cut those two pieces apart. The bottom skeleton is steel. So, and then the upper part is all, of course, nice aluminum. So that's gonna be super cool to put the camper on. So in doing that, you kinda gotta do this. And so here we go. Took me about, uh, I don't know, about three hours to take that off. And uh, the hardest part was getting the bolts out of the box. Ford makes some kind of crazy bolt sleeve nut for it. And you can see one over there that is right there. That, of course, I had to smash off and cut the top off. It seemed that the two at the front were like that. This one here was just a bugger to get off, so I just cut them off. Then I'll cut these off flush to that way down here, cut those off and then bang those out. And then we should be good. So I'm still torn about what to do at the back. My factory receiver is quite a bit higher than the CW. So I think I'm gonna keep this. So that leads me to a stretch and a re-weld. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. Uh, there's the box, so. The box is nice when it's uh, a Luma Duty. The box is super easy to lift off. So the whole idea of this is we're trying to put, get some weight down, right? So getting some weight down means ripping some stuff off. And so here you go. So here is the rack. Of course, down there's the trailer hitch. Let's see if I can show that to you. So down there's the trailer hitch and I'm gonna cut all that off. We're gonna cut it off flush down there. We're gonna use the new receiver. This receiver is at 17 and a half inches below the frame. And my receiver on the truck currently is 12 and a half inches below the frame. So we need all that height. And so here in the middle, I just finished cutting this off here and through the middle was the gooseneck fifth wheel hitch. So I could barely lift that thing. So that's going to be a lot of weight off. And uh, this thing's now going to get a stretch. So I got to widen it out. It's hard to see, but I'm going to widen it out put some more runners across it and then weld it all back together. That's my plan anyways. And then we'll see about the lighting. I'm not sure about the lighting yet. And you know, my rear sensors and the camera, all that stuff will uh, will come. So anyways, just wanted to give you guys a update on what's going on in the shop. Oh yeah, there's my cap. Made a little bracket for it to hang on. The truck is so damn tall now that I made a little two by four rack. So it's sitting up here. This is gonna go up for sale. We don't need this anymore. So it did what it was supposed to do. So, you know, this stuff for me is just tools, right? That was a tool that we used for going away last year. And this is the tool that we're gonna go away for hopefully in the next few years, because this is gonna be a lot of work. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one. Cheers.